You can use Excel's conditional formatting to highlight cells that have a certain value or are in a certain range of numbers. And in this case, we're going to use conditional formatting to highlight cells where a ticket has one or more numbers that were in the numbers drawn for this week's lottery. To do this, we'll use the count if function in conditional formatting. And to see how that will work, we'll just do it on the worksheet first to test the function. So I'm going to click here, type an equal sign, and type count if and an open bracket. We have to pick a range where we want to check for the value we're going to look for. So we want to look in the drawn number range and we don't want that range to ever shift down or over if we copy this form formula to a different cell. So on the keyboard I'm pressing F4 and that puts in dollar signs that make this an absolute reference. Then I'll type a comma and the next is the criteria. So what do we want to count in that range? And I'm going to click on the first number, which is in cell B2, and close the bracket and press Enter. So the count of that is zero. If I copy it down, it's also zero for one, but there is a count for the number three. It's in the numbers that were drawn. So when we do conditional formatting, we'll use the count if, and anywhere there's a zero, it would not have a count, so it wouldn't be highlighted. If there's a number other than zero, then it will be highlighted because there is a count. So I'll just delete those. And we start by selecting the cells that where we want highlighting with conditional formatting. So I'll select all the ticket numbers. On the ribbon, go to the Home tab and click Conditional Formatting. And there are lots of built-in rules, but none of those are quite what we need. So click New Rule. And in here, click Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And here's where, where we will put in the count if function. So equal count if open bracket and just as we did on the worksheet, select the numbers that we want to check. So those are the drawn numbers and in here the dollar signs are automatically added. Type a comma and then we're going to put a cell reference here and that should be the active cell on the worksheet. So this cell is colored white and all the rest are highlighted in blue. So B2 is the active cell and we can see its address up here in the name box. So that's the cell that will go into the formula and then click format and pick a color to highlight the cell. I'll click on this blue, click OK and click OK. I'll just click on another cell. And you can see that 3, 15, 26, and there's another 15. Those are all in the drawn numbers and they're highlighted. The other cells don't have any fill color because there's no count for a 5 or any of these other numbers in the drawn numbers.